Omaumi, welcome to the sauce. Yay, thank you. You got my pronunciation right. <laughs> thank you, thank you so much. Omaumi, tell us what your name means. Um, <laughs> it literally means I like children. I'm my father's 12th child. <laughs> there are 14 of us. Um, so, uh, yeah. So he was referring to himself when he said, I like children and children like me. So that's what my name means. I like children and children like me. And that's not the first time you've actually uh, produced something and have your music featured. Golden House. Is it Gold oh, House yes, or Golden yes. House? House of Gold. House of Gold. House of yeah, gold. House of Gold. Yeah. Um, uh, Serious Love One Sintin was featured in the, that song. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Um, your sound fuses R&B, Afro, pop, and um, the classic Niger style of music. Mm -hmm. When I listened to a few of your songs, I could hear the Nigerian talking drum. Tell me mm -hmm. if I'm wrong. Yes, you're right. You're right. Um, tell us about how you mix and master your music. Um, well, I always like there to be like elements of the Nigerianness in me, you know, in my music. But uh, as a musician, you hardly ever find me without horns. So even if I don't put horns in the original music, when I'm recording, uh, when I'm uh, performing, I tend to put a lot of horns in there. Um, but I, 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 didn't, I didn't mix and master my work, I just co-produced. So the mix and mastering uh, was done by um, a guy called Olai Tondada of Natialo Studios in Lagos, and he's pretty much one of the best, because uh, it's, it's not easy to mix live music. It's a lot more technical than mixing digital sounds, you know, but it was, it was, it was a really interesting process. Well, there's been a reemergence of such talent, such competitions on the continent. Tell us about your experience on the show. Um, it was really nice. It was a little bit uh, 11 years ago, um, yeah, and uh, it was quite uh, it was quite a whirlwind period. You know, it took it took. Uh, less than two or three months from you know being just a, a normal you know lawyer in Port Harcourt the river state in Nigeria to being a, um, a singer songwriter you know mm. and that was acclaimed all over the world uh, all over Africa you know so it's it was more of like a whirlwind for me it was also very exciting it was the starting the beginning of my career so I'll never forget it it sounds amazing, amazing. All right, so you've told us about your EP and um, the new music that's coming out. You're hailed as one of the best songwriters in West Africa. Wow. If you, if you could tell us uh, one of uh, the lyrics from your songs that you could not live without, which one would it be? Ooh, I, I don't know if I, I, I can tell you any ly lyrics I cannot live without, but I'm gonna tell you one of the ones that always just get people just there. It's from, is it from this EP you're talking about? Ooh, this EP, um, it don't have to be from Cinnamon, but I was speaking in Pigeon English. I was saying that, uh, um, let me sing it first. <laughs> oh my God, forgive my voice. <laughs> Guy man, we don't turn preacher. Positivity where you they preach. But if my people start to point their finger, she no be Switzerland where you go reach. So what I was saying in that line is, you know, like uh, these, these days you find fraudsters, fraud, fraudsters as now preachers. That's guy man. That's what, we don't turn preacher. It's now a fraudster that is now a preacher, preaching positivity everywhere. But when people start to point their finger, he will run away to Switzerland. You know, Switzerland is the place where, uh, is that's the, what do they call that Switzerland? No, 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 aside from that, it's like a place where you can go to, and I don't think you can get extradited in Switzerland. It's, it's, a, it's like a peaceful, you know, nobody, it's, it's, I don't know, we, we'll figure it out later. But that's what I was just saying in the song, like basically, um, you know, fraudsters that have become preachers, you know, they have to really like watch what they're doing because at the end of the day, you go, you watch the TV, you see what people are doing. Some pastors will tell you, the, um, spray insects, sex, eat insecticide, you will not die. Some ridiculous things like this. And it, God did not send all, them all these messages. So 
Th those are the, the sort of lyrics that you know I find I have in my song. And the continent has seen uh, uh, Idols West Africa, Project Fame, and now I don't know if you know, but East Africa's Got Talent has also come in. Oh, nice! That's yeah, yeah that's nice. That's yeah. nice. Yeah. But people are now questioning what uh, effect that has in growing local talent. Do you have anything to comment on that? Um, yes, it does have an effect. Uh, it, the platform in itself is an effect. Uh, I believe that you know when you're giving such an opportunity to go and showcase your talent, I feel like you should do it well so that you will be able to catch the proper attention. Um, if you do not, if if those people that do those shows, if they don't give you that platform, you will have to start from scratch. You know, so it, and that's what I think about those kind of platforms. It, it, it gives you exposure, you know, that normally you wouldn't get if you were on your own starting up. Or even if you got it, it will cost money as opposed to, you know, just doing it and then getting the same number of people to actually see what you can do. Um, Outside of that, um, I always advise people who go into shows like this that when uh, you are approached with a record deal, uh, make sure that you ask the right questions, make sure that um, you are priority, you know, and uh, don't forget you can, you can always say no. Yeah, so if you're not priority for the label and, uh, you know, you ask the right questions, don't make sure you get hooked into a contract that you can't get out of. You've lent your voice as a brand ambassador to different corporates like yeah. uh, Conga and uh, Malta Guinness. What have you learned about juggling music and the corporate side of, of business as an artist? Hmm. Well, the thing is, um, it just boils down to how you represent each brand that you're affiliated with. I currently am affiliated with Live Boy and um, higher chemical now one of the things that i try to do is that like for example my um my my um social media followers they are mostly organic you know so and i interact with them a whole lot you know so when i bring a product forward and i say this is this product i'm endorsing it i make sure first of all that i have used it and it is true to standard you know and then i check out the company csr as well to make sure that we are at par with each other it's not just about taking on a lot of brands the most important thing is being able to project them out there now juggling that and music is not so difficult because of course if i'm representing a brand all i need to do is to come and make one or two appearances physically thanks to social media and i don't usually take on brands that um engulf the music so much that I don't have time to make my music. Music always comes first. Yes, music always comes first. Those are good words. Last year you won the best vocal performance at the he Headies. Yeah. What did it mean for you? Um, it was my second uh, um, award, that same award, and I got it in a space of nine years. So it was really um, exciting, yet humbling, uh, to know that I could win an award nine years ago and still come and win it, you know, nine years after. You know, it was really exciting. I, I, I was really, really honored. Thank you. Um, you've worked with many new artists like uh, DJ Spinall. You've worked with the likes of Slim Case, uh, Kiss Daniel. Yeah. How do you find working with such young artists and their new style of... Uh, Niger music, their new brand? Um, I like the fusion. I, um, I like the fusion a lot. I'm really excited about it. And um, I, 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 there are some young Nigerian musicians that are doing amazingly well in the, in the industry. And there's such amazing musicians as well, like uh, Burner Boy, Rema, right now uh, we have Yemi Aladi, um, Tiwa Savage, we have like Waje, Shei Shei. They, are, they all make amazing music. Now, I like that when we merge, you know, because it just makes it seem like, it makes it um, relatable. Because, you know, there, there are people who listen to my music who be like, oh, I don't have time for this um, young people, their music. Do you understand what I'm saying? So it's just about balancing the fan base, making sure that everybody has an opportunity to hear everybody when you hear a voice like his daniel's own his voice is so unique 
you won't when you hear his voice you won't know that he's actually a very young person you will think he's probably in his 40s or 50s because of the way he's the, the tone of his voice is so sometimes it's just good to mix and match so that everybody gets a feel of yeah so what can you tell your fans about this ep oh um the ep is titled in her feelings mm -hmm. is a seven track album mad music amazing production hey i produced it <laughs> <laughs> amazing production and lovely lyrics um it's already raving you know and then you can find it everywhere if you're the sort of person that likes to upload music uh, on social media music platforms you get it in a um, mundu mundu see mundu mundu i need to know how to pronounce that thing finally mundu yeah you can get it on mundu you can get it on boom play you can get it on um, apples you can stream it on apples and spotify mm -hmm. itunes everywhere and and uh and your local platforms uh you can get the music there it's really really interesting and they can also go to my YouTube channel and watch the videos because I have one video out. Um, it's titled Without You. That's the first single of the, the EP and it's out there. And, and you should not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you can go and watch more things. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much for coming to the source. Um, Omawumi. Omawumi. Mm, but how do you pronounce it? Say it. Omawumi. Omawumi. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much thank you thank you for having me yeah, thank you what's up beautiful people my name is omaomi and you are watching the source don't go anywhere